This time, I'm going to convert these four numbers into one's complement format. And again, I'm going to limit myself to a 16-bit representation. A 32 or 64-bit representation would just have more bits on the left-hand side. They look identical to whatever bits we're generating anyway, so we won't really see much of a difference if we did have 32 bits. Since these are all decimal numbers, I'm going to start by converting them into binary, and then I'll put them into the ones complement format. So 73 in decimal is 64 plus 9 in binary. And this is a positive number. So for my positive number, I'm just going to write down my number in 16 bits. I have one more leading zero than I would have with the sign and magnitude format. But the result actually comes out looking the same. And this is 73 in the ones complement format. Our next number is negative 28. So this is a negative number, and 28 is 16 plus 8 plus 4. So I'm going to start again by writing out the magnitude of my number as a positive number. It has 16 bits. And if I wanted positive 28, I'd be done. But in this case, I want negative 28. So I'm going to go through, and everywhere I see a 0, I'm going to change it to a 1. And everywhere I see a 1, I'm going to change it to a 0. So this is negative 28 in the ones complement format. Our next number is positive 13. And that is 8 plus 4 plus 1. So there is our binary number. Again, this is a positive number, so I'm just going to write down this number with 16 bits. And there's my ones complement representation of 13. Our last number is negative 61. So negative 61 is 32 plus 16 gives me 48 plus 8 gives me 56. So I need five more. So there is my number in binary. I'm going to start by just writing my magnitude in, as a positive number. I'll use 16 bits. So there is positive 61, but I want negative 61. So I'm going to apply the ones complement operation to this number. I'm going to flip all of the bits, and that will give me negative 61. So there is my ones complement representation of negative 61.